Well, Drew, the Packers say they'll likely use variable ticket pricing next year. That means the ticket price would reflect the perceived value of the game. It's a tactic that's been used all across sports, but just hit the NFL this season. Like many other fans, Gary Franzen doesn't think preseason tickets are priced fairly. When the regular players aren't playing the whole game, that the fans shouldn't be charged as, as a regular season game. This year, for the first time, 14 of the 32 NFL teams are using variable ticket pricing. The Packers say they're watching teams like Detroit, Pittsburgh, and San Francisco, who have put variable pricing within its season ticket packages. We'd be looking at the season package because we're sold out on a season ticket basis, and then we just have to determine how to apply that to our green and our gold packages, our seven and our three game packages. Here's how San Francisco varied its prices for season ticket holders. The lowest price tickets for preseason cost $43. For prime regular season games, those tickets are $85 a piece. For marquee games, the cost is $106 a piece. For non-season ticket holders, the price is the same for preseason but higher for prime and marquee games to provide incentive to season ticket holders. There's no way the Packers having a sold out stadium are they going to drop their preseason tickets for less money because they sell them anyways because the season ticket holder has to, has to take them. John Schmidt has dealt with variable pricing for other NFL teams and other sports. He predicts the Packers variable pricing for season ticket holders will be similar to the Wisconsin Badgers. Schmidt says season ticket holders pay the same price for each ticket but the value on each ticket is different. They're not going to fluctuate those prices. That would be too confusing. It might say it on the ticket that they're more because that's what they'll be charging for their extra seats. Now the Milwaukee Brewers is another example of a team that uses variable ticket pricing. You might have noticed that the Cubs games and the Cardinals games are a little bit higher in price. The Packers say they really want to wait and see how this first year goes for the other NFL teams before making a final decision on ticket prices. For now, we're reporting live in Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.